Hello? Hello? I know you're home, and I see your car in the driveway. Hello? Please let me in. It's raining out here, and I hate getting wet. Hello? Please let me come in. Oh. Hi. Can I come in, please? Mm -hmm. Please just let me in, then I'll explain. Please, 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 I really need to come in. Yes. <sighs> now I'm all wet. I'm gonna use your blanket here on the couch to dry off, if that's okay. Huh? No. I'm clean. Don't worry. I already had my flea medication and all that. I'm not some dingy alley cat. Mm hmm? Oh. <laughs> I guess you didn't notice with my hat on. See? Check out my ears. <laughs> Pretty cute, right? <laughs> you seem surprised. Have you never seen a Neko before? <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. Living way out here in the middle of nowhere, I don't think most people in this small town have seen one of my kind. At least not in person. How'd I get here? <sighs> it's a long story. <sighs> I think I'd rather just take a nap, to be honest. I'm gonna use your couch, okay? Hmm? What do you mean I can't just come into your house and go to sleep on your furniture? Uh, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop trying to take my blankie away. It's mine now. Mm. <laughs> okay, watching you fall over like that was worth letting go of the blankie. But seriously, I need that back. <sighs> Fine. I'll tell you what I'm doing here but you've got to promise to give me the blankie back afterwards, okay? <sighs> A couple years back, I was adopted by the Lemoines. <sighs> I'm not sure if you've heard of them, but they're a very rich and wealthy family that live about an hour from here. And when I heard I was adopted, I was so excited. I had been living at the shelter all my life, so it was nice to know that someone, anyone, was finally interested in me. I remember my first day being taken to their... well, I was going to say house, but I don't know if you'd call somewhere this big a house. It was like one of those huge castles you hear about in old stories. I was half expecting to see a dragon outside guarding it. <laughs> At first, things were really great. They fed me, gave me my own room. It was more than I could ask for. But the longer I stayed, the more I got to know them, and... Well... I don't really want to think about it too much, but they are not good people. I grew afraid of them. I just wanted to keep my distance, and that made them very, very angry. Anyways, long story short, I just needed to get away from them, so I left. I ran away, and I never went back, and I never once to go back. 
I've spent days and days walking and walking. I've been eating whatever things I can find that people threw out. But then it started raining and I just couldn't stand feeling the rain on my skin. I needed to find somewhere to hide, so... So I came here. And your house was the closest place I could run to. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know I was being kind of rude just a few minutes ago, and you probably don't want me here in your house, and... Huh? <laughs> You're giving me the blanket back, but... Wait, what? I can stay here with you. Uh, uh, yeah, sure, I'll follow you. Hmm? And what's this? This is my room. Uh, thanks. It means a lot. Uh huh? Uh, oh no, I, I'm sorry, I, I don't... I mean, I, I really do like it, but it's just... I don't mean to seem ungrateful, but... I don't know. I don't really like being alone. Is it okay if I just stay with you in your room? I, I, I promise I'll mind my own business and I won't get in the way and... Really? <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're right. I am pretty hungry. Um, do you maybe have any food I could have? <laughs> tuna? Yeah, I, I love tuna. It's the best fish in the sea. <laughs> I'll take your finest tuna, please. 